Hello everybody. This is going to be another product review and in this particular product review we are going to be looking at the March 2016 13th Age Monthly 15 page PDF. It is called Sorcerer Summoning and it is by Rob Heinsu and you can get the 13th Age Monthly subscription that gives you a PDF at the end of every month between 8 and 15 pages and if you don't want to uh, pay for the entire monthly subscription. You can also buy each individual PDF for $2.95 a piece. And if you do get the subscription, you also get a, a bonus to where you can download all of Ashlaw's public play adventures. And there are quite a few of them, probably about 20 or 30 or 40 of them. So it's a nice little bonus. All right, so Sorcerer Summoning. You can see here a uh, sorcerer on the on the uh, the cover art here summoning lightning drakes. So yes, that is something that you're going to be able to summon now if you play a sorcerer in 13th Age. Now uh, you can see the PDF is of uh, exquisite quality, like the other books and PDFs that they've uh, published and put out already. It's not like just a bunch of information thrown together. These things are methodically planned out, and it's official canon that is put into 13th Age on a monthly basis. All right, so the Sorcerer Summoning. Now, the Sorcerer is in the core book. And in the core book, the, the Sorcerer does not have any summoning. And they wanted to add summoning, meaning Rob Heinsu and Jonathan Tweet, they, you know, they created the game. They wanted to add summoning, but unfortunately there just wasn't enough time to get the perfect system and the right mechanics that they wanted for summoning for the sorcerer. Now, uh, there are different uh, talents that you can take, and it starts at level 5, and all f of these different heritages, they are also associated with a particular icon. Now, the Arcane Heritage Talent has the icon of the Archmage, as you can see here. There are a couple feats that you can invest into champion and uh, epic levels, and at level 5 you'll be able to summon uh, a, basically an elemental flux, and then you'll get upgrades to that at level 7 and level 9. Now an elemental flux looks like this basically. It is a half earth, half fire elemental. I think it's a, a great concept. I love the art, and these things are actually pretty vicious. Now he now, guys, take this into consideration. These are literally the stat blocks for your flux that you summon. Pretty amazing, isn't it? And 13th Age acknowledges that summoning creatures are super powerful. We'll talk about that in a little bit when we get to the, that part of the PDF. So, But as you can see, these flux elementals look totally powerful, and they are. You know, half of their powers derive from the uh, elemental earth, half of their powers derive from, you know, the, the elemental flame, and there's uh, three of these. Here's your first level five flux elemental, level seven you get to summon the greater flux elemental, and then at nine you get to summon the epic flux elemental, and they are, they are pretty nasty. Now the second heritage that you can start summoning is associated with the three. It is one of the, another one of the 13 icons in 13th Age. And this is basically summoning the lightning drakes. Remember as, as what we had seen on the cover, these are, these are the lightning drakes. So if you want to summon those lightning drakes, this champion, uh, level five chromatic destroyer, Heritage Talent will be for you. Now as you can see, just like the, the Arcane Destroyer, uh, you can invest some feats at the Champion Epic levels, and then you're going to get to summon level 5, level 7, and level 9 Drakes. And here are the stat blocks for the level 5 Summon Lightning Drake, the gr uh, Nastier Lightning Drake at level 7, and then the Epic Lightning Drake at level 9. And you can see that you know each one of these drakes and the other flux summons have these uh, uh, chart little tables, d6 tables that you would basically roll at the start of every one of their turns, and it uh, kind of adds a, a little bit of uh, drama into the game. Maybe they'll take an action. Maybe maybe the uh, uh, the flux or the lightning drake won't be interested and won't make any attacks that round. So there's a little bit of a uh, uh, there's a couple variables thrown in there, and I and I actually like that. So, here you go, another nice piece of art. The third 
type of uh, heritage that you could take is the infernal heritage talent and as you can see here this is the icon the diabolist and this is where you're going to get to summon uh, basically burnout elementals and I'm sure this is probably the burnout elemental here all right same thing as the the other two heritage talents we've already talked about you get to sun you know you're going to get this at level five you can invest you know a feat champion in epic tier this this is the stat block for the level five summon burnout elemental the level seven summon bigger burnout elemental and then the summon epic burnout elemental so as you can see uh not as a uh, not as robust as say the the flux elemental but uh, nonetheless it's still a level nine wrecker and it has really nice damage and uh, a lot of ongoing fire damage all right so the final heritage is the undead remnants heritage talent and this is pretty much uh, associated with the lich king as you can see and the one thing about uh the undead remnant heritage talent is you can uh, start this at level three instead of level five so here's an adventurer feat here and then champion and epic feats that you can invest into now you're going to be able to summon undead and you're going to be able to summon some pretty cool undead the first one is at level three you're going to be able to summon an undead toady all right at level five you'll be able to summon an undead steward at level seven you'll be able to literally summon an undead major domo and then you'll be able to at level nine summon an undead seneschal so you know same thing there are the d6 charts where it'll throw a little bit of a drama into your you know your summoning companion and there you go there are the four different heritage talents you can take so plenty of summoning for the sorcerer now now as i mentioned a couple minutes ago 13th age acknowledges that uh, summoning makes your character super powerful and then it has a uh, the rules here for summoning spells if you're playing a druid or a necromancer in 13 true ways just disregard these changes you don't have to worry about them and here's all of the changes and it talks about you know the actions uh, about uh, dismissing it uh, you know multiple summoning if it can happen uh, you know hit points the escalation die um, all kind you know talks about spells no nasty why there's no nastier specials with these creatures like there are well with these summon creatures as there are with everything else in 13th age with the bestiary the core books and stuff and you know the healing and recovery system so 15 pages guys chock full of everything from mechanics to rules to having four great new talents that you can summon elementals and undead with so there you go guys this is the new this this is the new pdf came out this month 13th age monthly sorcerer summoning let me know what you guys think because uh i'm actually liking that flux and uh i may make a uh, a flux summoning sorcerer what do you guys think about that summoning looks pretty strong in 13th age would you guys play a summoner do you think it might be a little bit too much let's hear from you savvy veterans also from 13th age what do you guys think of summoning leave a comment down below if you guys uh, enjoy the content please feel free to uh subscribe to the youtube channel and until next time happy gaming